you may have already guessed this, but in case you haven't, a victim was what some people in the 50s might have called a beatnik, or in the 60s, a, a hippie. As such, his psyche and raison d'etre are molded by the threat of universal nuclear destruction. I went to him at our usual cafe just off his door. He looked troubled, more so than usual. <coughs> Money or reluctant debutants? Peace. I beg your pardon? Well, you want to know what's eating me, I'm telling you. Peace. Let's face it, I'm a bum, really. But not an amateur bum who drifts with the tide. Ever since I started thinking, I've known with absolute certainty that there is absolutely no certainty in my life. And, and that has always been a wonderful feeling. Our forefathers have to worry about their families, about what's going to happen to them in old age, how much pension they're going to draw, so on and so forth. Whereas we feel as free as birds. What's going to happen in 30 years' time, you ask me? Nah, I don't give a damn what's going to happen next week. Look, to belong to the lost generation is to belong to a worldwide movement. Other people say, pleasure all day, pleasure all night. Where's it going to lead? Where's all that going to end? But we, we are the lost generation. We know that it's all going to end in one big flash when the bloom goes up. And if not, well, that would be too bad. But at least we can hope that the whole world will end. Without that hope, life isn't worth living. If I have to worry about what's going to happen to me in my old age, I'll go nuts. Look, last night I woke up with a terrible thought that, who knows, they declare peace all over the world, rashly destroy all the weapons, and then I, a lone bum, will be left in Tel Aviv with, with no moral foundation, with, without a profession, without anything except the long play future. It's a real nightmare. It's not as bad as all that. No! They're pulling the rug out from under me! Suddenly, I'll have to grow up to sweat for a lousy salary, to have kids and a paunch. Put my savings in a bank at a measly percentage rate of interest. People like me will give up their seats for the aging and, and read airport lounge novels and sleep soundly in their beds at night. Our clothes will be clean and well pressed, and the buses will run on time, and, and all the girls 